And I would like to ask you if the President has considered pardoning President Obama for illegally wiretapping on Trump Towers, illegally spying on U.S. citizens, and other potential, <clears throat> potential crimes out there. Has he considered that? So I have not spoken to the President about that, um, but who I did speak to about President Obama and then asking Michael Flynn were the men and women in this room. Um, I haven't spoken to him on that specific point, have spoken to him about the matter generally. And I laid out a series of questions that any good journalist would want to answer about why people were unmasked um, and, and all sorts of questions. And I just wanted to follow up with you guys on that. Did anyone take it upon themselves to pose any questions about Michael Flynn and un unmasking the President Obama spokesperson? Oh, not a single journalist has posed but, that but, question. But, but, okay. Flynn's name wasn't so masked, I would uh, like Kelly, to Kelly. lay out a series of questions, and perhaps if I write them out in a slide format, maybe we're visual learner, learners, and you guys will follow up with journalistic curiosity. So, number one, why did the Obama administration use opposition, opposition research funded by a political organization and filled with foreign dirt to surveil members of the Trump campaign? Number two, why was Lieutenant General Michael Flynn unmasked, not by the intel community entirely, but by Obama's chief of staff, by the former Vice President Joe Biden, by Susan Rice, by the Treasury Secretary. I mean, this is extraordinary. And, you know, if it were political appointees in the Trump administration, I can guarantee you I'd have questions in my inbox right now, but apparently Obama's spokesperson does not. Why was Flynn's identity leaked in a criminal act? It is a criminal act to leak the identity of Michael Flynn to the press, but it happened. Where are the questions to Obama's spokesperson? Because my team would be running around this building should this have happened under the Trump administration. Why did the DOJ, Sally Yates, learn about the unmasking from President Obama? So much for going by the book, as Susan Rice said three times, thou doth protest too much, Susan Rice. And then finally, question number five, why did James Clapper, John Brennan, Samantha Power, and Susan Rice privately admit under oath they had no evidence of collusion while saying the opposite publicly? It's a long weekend. You guys have three days to follow up on those questions, and I certainly hope the next time I ask, some hands go up, because Obama's spokesperson should be asked those questions, because President Trump's spokespeople certainly would be.